Hi, this is John Mill. Welcome to John Mill Dream Seller. Dear John, just answering another question. And I want to teach you something. Is that all right? A lot of people have been writing in with stories that are just, there's so much gone on for them. A lady's written in and said that she was with her partner for 24 years. He had addictions. He didn't work. She had to work to bring the money in. She split up with him and she became homeless and people didn't, her friends that she thought would step up didn't. And so she's ended up now having to live back with her ex with all of his problems. And she's stuck because she's homeless, so she's got to live there. And she does believe that she is positive and has hope. But you know when you get into these life situations where you just don't know how to get out of it. And I've had a few letters like this where you kind of read the letter and firstly you think, this person could really do with some counselling. This person could really do with just offloading to someone. So if you can talk to someone, please talk to someone. But I want to give this lady and any of you out there a little plan of how to move forward in life, whatever situation you're in. Because progress is important, right? And sometimes when you feel stuck and you're in the moment, you can't see anything but the moment. You're stuck in it. But you've got to remember that your past is behind you and in this moment your past is back there and if you look back and you keep looking back you'll eventually trip up so keep going forward keep looking forward now in life when people um, have problems they have people around them that are that will limit their beliefs that will make them not be the best of them so I've drawn a few on here I hope you don't mind and the first character that this one at the top is what I call uh, the critical person. The one that criticises everything you do. That's why he or she kind of doing the, the thing with your eyebrows. Why are you doing that? Why, why do you think you can achieve that? You're so naive. You, there's no way you can do that. This person will bully you, will criticise you, will tell you that you're not good enough. And on those days that you're most vulnerable, you'll take their words and you'll use them against yourself. And we call that, in therapy, the lost performative. So when have you ever used words against yourself and kind of realised that they're someone else's words? And this is the thing. This person doesn't want you to be successful. They never want you to be successful. In whatever you're doing, they will criticise you. They will bring you down. And it's important to know who they are and where they are in your life. Then there's the person I call YOLO. You only live once. Let's bury these emotions. Let's not think about it. Let's go out. Let's have a party. Let's do some drugs. Let's drink lots. Let's eat lots. You only live once, but you only live a little while with this person because they're the person that wants to drink from the glass that empties you. They're the person that really doesn't care about you too much. They're shallow. All they want is to use you when they need you, and then you can't find them after that, right? Ever had a friend like that? You know, they, they call you when they want you, and they, they call you loads of times, and then you go, and then you call them, and you can't get a hold of them. They're more shallow than an underground car park puddle. I just thought of that. <laughs> <clears throat> then you've got the last one, which is the grumpy person in your life. Grumpy don't want you to do anything at all. They're miserable all the time. They just want to tell you all about themselves and how chaotic their lives are. And they're not really listening to you. They want to talk about how you're, you're again, naive to think that you can do what you're doing, but they're not even interested in what you're doing. They're just grumpy. They're miserable all the time. And grumpy people, have you noticed, they love company. They love to hang around in little groups of grumpy people. And they can't understand you and your positivity and your success. So these are some people, and there are many more, that you need to step away from in life. That you need to understand that these people here will just limit you. Now I want you to think of any task that you want to achieve, anything you want to achieve in life. So this lady wants to, I imagine, move into a place on her own, get away from all this negativity, find herself again. Think of what you want to do in your life. What would be the one, the most important 
high value, important thing that you can do first to move you forward. Now, there are probably gonna be about five or 10 things you need to do. But what happens is, is you'll say, I need to, this lady will say, I need to move out, I need to get some money, I need to sort this out, I need to sort that out. She'll try to do all the things at once. And then, as she's saving some money to get a place, she won't have enough money, but then she'll see a place and go, see, life's not working out for me. You know, I haven't got the money, but there's the perfect place. That's because you're looking too early. So we need to get some order, because it's important not to do all the things at once. It's important to establish some order. And what is the most high value thing that you can do first that will shift you forward? And we'll make that number one, okay? So number one, the most important high value thing you can do. You might say, there's three things and I can't really decide. So make them 1A, 1B, and 1C, yeah? And decide again, what is the most important thing you can do? Now it might be for this lady that she's gonna just, I'm gonna save some money. Once I save the money, I can get a deposit and move out. Imagine if you put all your energy into saving money, that's it, nothing else. You're gonna do nothing else, but every day, you're gonna think of how you can get some more money. You're not gonna feel bad about the, the depression of all the things you've got to do, and you're just gonna focus only, everything, all your energy on money. So you might start selling stuff on eBay. You might borrow a car and go to a boot sale, or you might just turn up at a boot sale if you haven't got a car with a shopping trolley and sell your stuff. You do anything you can to get some money together. You put all your energy, all your focus onto the money. And you don't do any of the other tasks until you've got enough money to move on to the next task, which might be for this lady, look for a place to live. Really, really important this is because a lot of people, that kind of 80-20 rule, they'll do 80% of the things that get them 20% results. So I want you to pick one thing, one thing that you can spend 100% of your time on to get 100% results in that thing. Now, you're gonna do that thing every morning. From the minute you wake up, you're gonna focus on it. Now, some of those things that you're gonna to have to do, you're not gonna to wanna to do them. You know, like, I don't know, say you wanna lose some weight, and you've gotta do all these things to lose weight, but one of those things, the most important thing, is to get together some kind of plan, and you go, yeah, I can't be bothered today. I'll, I know, I'll just go out and get some healthy food, and because you haven't got a plan, you don't put it together. You have to have a plan. So, I want you to think of this. It's an old story about, you probably heard it, about a soldier, and he's in a trench, and he's got enemy on both sides. And he can't get out of the trench, otherwise he'll get killed. So in that trench are live frogs. And he decides that he's gonna to have to eat the frogs to live. So he decides that every day, first thing in the morning, he'll eat that live frog. And then the day can only get better. So every morning he eats one live frog. Every morning, you're gonna eat your frog. And if one of them looks really ugly, eat the ugliest one first, all right? Because whatever one's most important, sometimes it's the one you don't wanna do, but you have to do it. So first thing in the morning, first task of the day, focus on what's number one. And I want you to then decide what are your other tasks and write them all out today. What are your tasks in order? So what are your tasks in order that you could do that would shift you forward. So if you're gonna lose weight, one might be a plan of how I'm gonna eat. Two might be to shop intelligently. I'm gonna go out and get all the shopping. Three might be to exercise. Four might be to check in with someone, to weigh myself, to do it with a friend, to make sure I'm doing things in the right order. But you have to get your order right. What's the most high value thing? Because if for weight loss, um, I didn't plan everything, and then I go shopping, and then I see some marshmallows and this and that, I buy all the wrong stuff because I haven't decided what I want because the first one is to you know, plan it. Second one was to shop intelligently so I know all the stuff. So what is your list? What's your list? 
Think of your list. Think of what you kind of want to achieve, your end result. But that might change too, right? Because as we move through life, things change. But you can add to your list. But the most important thing of all is you don't do all of them at once. You do the first one first. So this lady might focus on the money or focus on something else, but it's deciding what is the high value task that you will do that will shift you forward, that will move you forward. If you want to write to me and ask me about your list, I'll put it in order for you. I'll talk to you about it. If this lady wants to write back and say, yeah, I get that, but can I ask you about this and this? Let's do that too. But the most important thing is the list. What's the most important one? Do that till it's completed. Spend 100% of your time on completing that, then move on to number two, okay? Put all your energy, all your focus, all of your brilliance, all of your magnificence onto that first task. And you know what, when you finish it and it's done, you'll realize it's like a couple of days later. And for a long time, you've been doing that thing where we just procrastinate. We just kind of, yeah, I'll do it Monday. I started it. I hope this has been helpful to you and please keep writing in and I'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye bye.